Hey everyone, welcome back to Spook. So it's costume time. I'm gonna try on five costumes from five of my fave movies. Is there someone talking out there? I just kind of DIY'd. Would you call this a DIY? I don't know. Eight Ks. I'll possibly be doing a scene as them. Badly, you know it will not be good. Hopefully you know some of these characters. If not, you'll be introduced to them and you will love them. You'll know a few. We're gonna start with Jamie Sullivan from A Walk to Remember. A Walk to Remember is a Nicholas Sparks movie based on the book, of course. It's played by Mandy Moore, the icon. She's very like modest in her look. She wears long dresses and sweaters. She doesn't wear much makeup at all. Like I think she's supposed to look like she's not wearing any makeup, but of course, you know, they put a little bit on her. Where should I go to do the makeup? Hello. Okay, so we'll go to the bathroom and do the little makeup look first. I thought I was filming for the past five minutes. <sighs> I've got to try to pull off the just naturally beautiful look, which is kind of, you know, like a light eyeshadow just to add some dimension to my eye. I Okay, just like a light color. Yeah, this movie is very sad. I saw this TikTok where this girl had watched it for the first time and she didn't know anything about it until she watched it. <laughs> this is the worst movie ever. I never really experienced that because I watched it when I was actually four years old um, and I didn't really understand what was happening. Maybe like, I probably shouldn't do that, but I'm doing it. Mascara. I'm not very good at like looking at someone's face and knowing what makeup they have on. Like, I'm one of those people that's like, oh, they, like, don't even have makeup on. And they do, you know. I'm like a dude in that way. They're like, oh, she's natural. She doesn't wear any makeup. And little does he know. I may add just a little bit of pink on. There's a hair on it. Okay. It was the early 2000s. All you needed was gloss. All you need is love? No. All you need is gloss. Um, oh yeah, she has like a mole right here. I'm gonna draw. <laughs> Don't mess with it, Madison. Don't do it. Why do I look like I'm trying to look like Marilyn Monroe or something like that? Let's go try on the outfit. Let's go try on the outfit. Let's go do it. Okay, so, well, this is my outfit now. So, the outfit I'm gonna do is her outfit when she goes out on her first date with Landon. I mean, you can do anything. I'm just gonna use these basic flats that I used in another video, actually, and I took all of the mermaid tape off of them and the dress this was the closest i could find why is this 44 dollars? i got it for way cheaper i got this at a consignment shop the length isn't as long as hers but it's pretty close so yeah why was this 44 dollars? that's what i really want to know it's from new directions queens of middle-aged women clothes even though i think i have clothes from new directions and this sweater it was just meant to be because I had bought this sweater from a thrift store a few weeks ago and I didn't even know I was filming this video. I didn't even know this video was even going to exist in the world. And I had bought this sweater just because I thought it was cute but it matches perfectly to the sweater. Not perfectly but to the sweater that he gets her that she wears on their date. Just for funsies. For just a little 
I got um, some butterfly tattoos off of Amazon. Yeah, I'm gonna put one on my shoulder. I'm gonna put it where he puts it. <laughs> Why are there so many of them? Like I could sell these for five cents a piece and make an entire dollar. I'm gonna sob. I'm gonna sob. Let's go do the hair. Her hair's kind of like half up, half down, and she has bangs. But why the bump? How do you know what's good for me? That's my opinion! Girl. Make sure it doesn't get in my eye. I think I, yep, I just cut some of my hair. It's so weird when you feel like you like brought them to life, but and it's you. So now I'm gonna recreate one of the scenes from the movie, or try to at least. Please tag me, Andy Moore. Place tagger. People can see. And that would ruin your reputation now? What's that? I'm reading all the books on Mr. Rothman's list of contemporary American authors. And how many books are there? A hundred. But then there's his British list and his European list. So is this all on your list to read all these books? Jamie, I'm trying here, okay? Maybe, maybe I miss spending time with you. Maybe you inspire me. <laughs> Sounds like bull. Which part? All of it. Well, it's not. Prove it. Okay, so the next costume is Mary Jane Watson from Spider-Man, the original Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire. Yeah. So first we're gonna do the makeup. Let Here's my nose. Her makeup is a little more intense than Jamie's. This movie's from 2002, so you can't really see exactly what's going on with her makeup, but it looks like she has some type of purple eyeshadow and like some liner up like around there. Oh, but one thing I could see when I was watching it, she's got that brow highlighter right here. Queen of brow highlights, sorry. I've had this makeup on for a little while, so I'm just gonna kind of powder my face again because my skin has been oily lately. Because she seems to have like a blushed look. And, okay. All of them seem to have pretty thin brows. They went to town plucking. This is kind of like a darkish purple. Sweet. I used to wear purple eyeshadow on a daily basis. So this is bringing me back to my roots. Maybe I'll do this again. 16 year old me was on to something. I went to go get my driver's license renewed today. It's kind of nerve wracking because you gotta be ready for it and it is a one take. You gotta be a one take wonder. That's my picture. So I'm gonna do like the black liner just all smudgy. Cute. Okay. Sure, I look like her. Baby, listen to me when I say. I'm gonna be wearing her outfit from uh, when they go on the field trip in the beginning of the movie. I'm just gonna wear these boots that I already had. I bought these boot cut jeans. She was wearing like dangly earrings. 
and like a little necklace and I already had this necklace which is pretty close to what she was wearing. I got two different tops. They're both like the same color but I think this one looks a little bit better because her shirt's kind of like tight and like low cut. Y'all will see with these low cut jeans I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. Sweater with a hood on it. All right so I'm in the outfit and now it's wig time. I should have just dyed my hair red, honestly. <laughs> MJ, oh no. And I also got the headband she wears, like that's gonna make a big difference. I mean, it's more like an exaggerated version of her. Don't make me look ugly. Don't make me look ugly. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think the wig just is like going through. Should I cut it? Twins. I mean, from here down. Not the hair I cut. I can do the mom in a robe thing. Hey. Uh, can I take your picture? I need one with a student in it. Sure. Yeah. Where do you want me? Over here? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Don't make me look ugly. <laughs> that's impossible. <clears throat> oh, perfect. That good? Great. MJ, let's go. Wait. Thanks. So the next one is okay. Well, the camera's about to die. Hold on. Sam Montgomery from a Cinderella story. Yes, Hillary Duff. Just everything about Hillary Duff is perfect. She's just the perfect human. I'm going to be doing her diner girl outfit. Let the rain fall down. So yeah. I tried to take all the makeup off. Or all like the eye makeup off from the last one. But it didn't quite. Her makeup is very, very light. So I'm just going to kind of put like a light brown eyeshadow. And then some gloss. And that'll be about it actually. It is a mess up here. It looks like a tornado. Tornado kind of throw here. Because when I'm filming, I just kind of like throw everything around. Me and these low waisted jeans and gloss. We're loving the 2000s. So this outfit is really fun. I'm going to wear these Doc Martens. Because they were roller skates at that diner. But I thought these were like roller skate esque. She wears a black tee, so I'm going to pick one of these. And I'm going to wear this cap. Because in one scene, she's wearing the cap. And I'm going to try to do, like, the wig under the cap. The apron. She wears a pink apron. And I ordered this off of Amazon. I did not know it was latex. There was nothing indicating that it was latex. So, um, she's wearing, like, kind of checkered pants. But these are houndstooth. I thought these would be pretty similar. So. Oh no, that thing's fall. I'm just eat, drinking. I just said drinking gum. I just said I was drinking gum. Let's go put on the wig. Wig flu. Wig obliterated. Wig on Mars. Okay. See, they would call her diner girl making fun of her, but little did they know diner applications would go up after this movie came out. So who's laughing now? Okay, so I have this blonde wig. Is this the same one I used for the Barbie video? The hair under here is what's bothering me to no end. One second. One second. It was fine before. Ow. Even though the brown might show through, like, it's probably just roots. You know, it's just her roots. 
Not me looking like Lord Farquaad. Here's the full fit. It's me I like this one. And like the pants. Ah, oh, did you <laughs> hip? My 23rd birthday is coming up. I'm gonna recreate a scene from Cinderella Story. Hey, can I get you something? Do you know what bugs me? People taking your order? No. Taking people's order. Why would you do that? <laughs> I don't know my dad. Oh, sushi and donuts? Who does that? <laughs> Take a coffee. Thank you. Do you ever feel like if you show someone who you really are, they won't accept you? Yeah, I do. Like, being yourself isn't good enough. Like, you're wearing a mask. That's exactly how I feel. You just want to be honest with this person and tell them it's me. I'm the one you've been looking for. Yeah. Austin. I'm Sam. One second. No, now. So the next one we're gonna do is Bella Hadid. No, I'm just kidding. Bella Swan from Twilight. I have on lighter foundation today. It's the next day. Just because, you know, she's kind of pale like me. Like this is actually my skin tone. So it's not anything wild for me. And it's rainy and cold outside. And it's just the Twi vibes. We're getting the Twi vibes. The entire Twilight movie is kind of like a bluish tint. The entire movie. So you can't really tell what her makeup looks like. Or at least I can't. It's probably just me. She has on like a little bit of eyeshadow. Like kind of like a darkish. And then her lips are kind of like red. You know, like, gotta get the, you know. I'm gonna be doing the look where she finds out that Edward is a vampire. I know what you are. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm supposed to be, like, doing the scene outside in the woods. But there's actually a tropical storm and we're getting part of it. So, I don't know. I think I'm gonna use, like, a little bit of this grayish kind of I can't tell what color that is. Like, this is the only picture I have to go by. And it's gnomes. As if you could outrun me. As if you could outrun me! Bella. Bella! Like, she's probably wearing mascara, but you just can't tell. Because those makeup artists, they spend so long on the no makeup makeup look. For real. They will do each individual eyelash i'm not doing that though <laughs> i tried with the hair and i only had a little wand like this big i got this plain gray shirt a headband like she wears of course it's like she wears i found this blue jacket that looks a lot like hers skinny ish jeans hopefully they fit didn't try them on and then these shoes and that's it for the outfit. It's Bella. Bella is worn. She doesn't do that, but. You never eat or drink anything. You don't go out in the sunlight. How old are you? 17. How long have you been 17? A while. I know what you are. See it. 
vampire. Are you afraid? No. Okay, so the last movie is What a Girl... Did I have this on the entire time? What a Girl Wants, which I think is an underrated movie. Amanda Bynes' best work. So, I already did the makeup. <laughs> Purple with some white, like shiny. Definitely 2000s look. She just has her hair up in a ponytail and it's straight, which my hair has already pretty much straightened itself. This outfit is from when she went to London and she's like on the tour bus and they're playing London Calling. In the background, it's great. I found this scarf which is the same color palette as her scarf. And then I got these mittens. I found this shirt at Walmart. This was one of the harder things to find, but I went to a consignment shop and found this blazer. She loves the blazer look. Just the same flare jeans. And she wears a belt with fringe on it. I looked to the ends, to the ends of the earth for a fringed belt. Couldn't find it. So I made my own. And then these shoes. Actually. Sweet. So now I'm gonna act out the last scene. This is really sad. I don't want this to end. You sit down there and tell me who sent you. Happens you can't be more than 17. I'll take your picture and go away. I already have a picture of you. How the devil did you get this? From Libby. Singer you met on a camel? Why would Libby give this to you? She thought I might want to know what my father looked like. My name's Daphne Reynolds. I'm Libby's daughter. According to this, I'm your daughter, too. Oh, for heaven's sake. Seems you had an even better time in Morocco than you let on. I'm meeting... He just steps on a bag. According to this, I'm your daughter, too. It's supposed to be a birth certificate. Incident. Point of storm away. One more time with it. Dang. Extraordinaire. Thank you for everything. Oh, why am I looking at the camera? Hello. Me go. Wow. Balilla. Ew. There's just wig hair everywhere. Don't make me look ugly. Don't make me look ugly. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Chad Michael Murray has me like, hey, hey. You never eat or drink anything. It's raining out here currently. We doing. Night. Thank you guys for watching.